Hey everybody, I hope you are well. In the past, you've heard me reference flying stunt kites. You've even seen some video clips of a stunt kite flying up in the air. They are two string kites. Today, I'm going into the camper to get out my parafoil. I keep it in the camper because usually we go on vacation in very windy places uh, like the beach and that's when I get to fly. So let me show you my parafoil. Let me tell you what, this is my favorite reason to go in this camper compartment. It has other things for like the sewer and the water systems of the camper, but I've got my kite here. This is where it lives. This is an older model prism parafoil kite. It's called the Snapshot 1.2 speed foil kite. The newer version of these prism kites, I believe they're called Synapse. I will put a link to an Amazon listing for you for something comparable. Can't buy the Snapshot anymore, it's called the Synapse. I believe it would be equally as awesome as this. I will eventually buy one of those in the bigger size. I've got my parafoil all laid out. Got the strings unwound. I put some sand on it. My other kites that have a frame I can launch myself because I just tip them up on the end and pull back and they shoot up in the air. I don't know if I can do that for this one because it's not rigid at all. I might have to have some help launching it. We'll see what happens. All right, let's give this a shot. I really should have somebody, but we're gonna try standing it up. Oh, and it tips over. So this is take two. We've got two people that decided to stand right next to my strings and start smooching <laughs> after I set up. So if they get hit, it's almost not my fault. All right, throw it up. Whee! There we go. Oh, what a perfect day for flying a kite. I have a tail for this one, but I haven't So flying these kites is actually pretty easy as long as you don't panic. <laughs> if you panic, you're hosed. Here, let me see if we can get it down here. All you do to turn to the right, you pull on the right string and kind of let go of the left string a little bit. And then you can correct by doing the opposite. If you want to do a loop, you just pull on the one string. You set to count how many times you go around that direction and do the opposite the other way. This is a pretty small parafoil, but you can get the big ones that will drag you through the sand. They're also like $300, so I don't have one yet. But I imagine I'll try that at some point. Come here, seagull. <laughs> now somebody else has like a regular old kite over there that I hope they don't let it go too much farther. We might tangle strings. I've heard that in Iran, the country of Iran, there's competitive kite flying, where it's like battle kites, and they have things on the strings that can cut somebody else's strings. <laughs> Seems a little wild. I will stick with regular old American kite flying. Steer clear of other kites. I wonder if these two are proposing. I didn't see him get down on his knee. But they make it real memorable dome them with my kite. <laughs> Go down to the water and fly this guy a little bit. So I just gotta be careful that I don't crash it in the water. I did that once and obviously it survived because we're back up in the air, but you're basically done for that day because it's wet and heavy with heavy wet sand. I'm gonna try my best not to do that again. If you're ever kind of in trouble with the kite, put your hands together and pull it straight up. And then it just floats straight up in the air. It's pretty exhilarating to fly over the water sometimes because it's kind of tempting fate a little bit. When you're flying the kite, like whatever you do you gotta do confidently like you don't want to second guess yourself and right at the last moment change your mind because usually that's when you crash 
think with most things in life, when you go to jump over the ditch or whatnot, you just gotta commit and go for it. But it's relaxing. It's one of the things that makes me feel like I'm flying. Ironically, more than like flying in a little plane like a Cessna or something like that, this makes me feel like I'm flying more than that. All right, just showing you how to land this thing. You go out of the wind. Hopefully you're not staring directly at the sun. And then it just lands like this. Bear Cup's gonna catch it for me. Catch it, buddy. 